Good morning everyone, welcome to Monday Coffee with AppFire. In this episode, we'll talk about updates to Jira work management, Atlassian intelligence feedback opportunity, customer service management in Jira service management. Then we will move to the weekly events roundup and we will have a look at what's new in Confluence whiteboards. And last, we will talk about the new Bitbucket feature, patch comments. And we will finish off with the article of the week for reasons you can focus at work from Trello blog. Really good week this week in terms of news, so stick around. We'll be back right after this intro. Hi again, good morning, welcome to Monday Coffee. We are your hosts, Nikki and Bira from AppFire. AppFire helps teams collaborate more effectively with the apps that make work flow. What we do we have? Back after two weeks last time. We, <clears throat> we managed to escape from the basement where... Uh, oh yeah, Cody, Cody and up. Ed released us. <laughs> well, we escaped officially. Okay. Yes, but they took Peanut, so yeah, it's unfortunate. Anyways, we'll definitely get her back. But now let's have a look at the first news because we have a lot to go through. So the Atlassian team made a roundup of Jira work management updates. There are quite a few to go through. There are new advanced view settings that allow you to keep filtering, grouping, sorting and layout preferences when switching between the projects. You can also organize your tasks with colorful categories right from the table view. There are also a few significant mobile app updates. You can check out a redesigned issue tab and new calendar view as well on your mobile. And additionally, Jira Work Management Premium will soon include a new approvals feature, uh, which is integrating approval steps into workflows for better task management. Uh, the last one is definitely exciting, uh, worth checking out once it's released. Now to the... Now we go to a feedback program that Atlassian is putting in place and you can participate as well. Atlassian is inviting its analytics customers to participate in research on its beta natural language to SQL feature and chart creation process. Sessions lasting 45 minutes via video conference will involve discussions about user experiences. Participants will receive, of course, a $75 e-gift card and can schedule a session at their convenience. So contact Atlassian-analytics at Atlassian.com for more information. The gift certificates are back. Oh, yes. And the feedback opportunities as well. Yes. Especially about Atlassian intelligence. That's great to hear. We are seeing more and more features being released when it comes to AI and Atlassian products. So that's quite exciting. Definitely give feedback if you can. Now let's move to the updates in Jira service management. First of all, customer service management is now available on all Jira service management plans. Previously, it was only available for the Jira premium, but now we can find it also on the standard and free plans. Customer service management helps agents make important decisions. Uh, you can easily access a dedicated page with a detailed information for each organization and customers. But the feature I'm even more excited about is the developer escalations. It makes collaboration between your customer service and development teams easier, allowing agents to escalate issues directly to developers. You can also find more details about customers in the customer context section in the issues, showing you the top five detail fields from customer and organization profiles. And you can also use customer context API to sync the data between the CRMs. So. It's really interesting. Jira service management is getting a few quite handy updates. I'll definitely check it out. I like the, you know, being able to move as a um, customer server desk, server desk manager, move tickets straight to developers. Yeah, that one is really handy. I actually send it to our team. I think they're going to like it. Yeah, no more middleman. Exactly. <laughs> right, now let's move on to events this week. And we start with some great partner organized webinars. First, elevating ITSM in financial services on Wednesday. Join Adaptavist and Atlassian for a live event exploring IT service management um, strategies for financial services, addressing implementation complexities and more. It's happening at One Moorgate Place in London. And then AI and the future of IT, it's happening in the same day. Hertzum hosts a live event in uh, Quito, 
Ecuador discussing the impact of artificial intelligence on agile DevOps and IT, exploring the latest AI trends and their potential for businesses. This is taking place at uh, Edificio uh, Metropolitan. So have a look. Um, if you're around in Ecuador. And also we have a couple of ACE events this week, a lot around high velocity, like for example, on Wednesday in Singapore, uh, an in-person community-led conference focused on service management. Attendees will join Atlassian product users and ITSM practitioners for discussions and networking opportunities related to, what else, service management practices. And on Thursday in Jakarta, this virtual webinar will delve into Atlassian's IT service management solutions. Uh, it aims to help organizations enhance service delivery, streamline IT operations, and increase efficiency using the Atlassian's powerful ITSM tools. That's it, just a couple of events. Have a look, plenty more of ACE events that you can participate in person if you're local or virtual, as well as partner-organized webinars. Seems to be quite a good mix of in-person partner-organized events as well, like this week, um, like next week, and so on. So have a look at Goosely. Definitely. And uh, just to mention, there is also a few events happening in December. There is a in-person Atlassian Unleash. Uh, event focused on the DevOps and Agile. So if you're around in Amsterdam, definitely join. And I also have a f free ticket. So if you're interested and you still didn't buy your ticket, direct message me and I will give you a discount code. But now let's move from the events to some updates around the Confluence whiteboards. We haven't heard about them for quite mm -hmm. a while. Yeah. So the Confluence whiteboards announced new features and they also shared a future plans. Now you can try a smart sections to automate actions between whiteboards and Jira or a lines for easier diagramming as well. Also, there is a new height cursor function to reduce distractions. Uh, there is a support for international characters and more templates. And when it comes to future plans, Atlassian is preparing for general availability next year with a focus on compliance and data residency. But they also plan to introduce features like, for example, comments, voting mechanism, board exports, import options from other tools, grouping, and improve search and much, much more. So definitely have a look at the post if you're using Confluence whiteboards. If you didn't give it a try yet, definitely should. It's a quite nice functionality in Confluence. You are going to like it. That's a lot of features coming as well. So it's full speed ahead with yeah. um, Atlassian's whiteboards. Absolutely. And um, uh, specifically that uh, like automation between the Jira and the whiteboards, like you just move the ticket into the section and it proceeds with the automation in Jira, in Jira is interesting. Uh, if you're into improving the workflows, uh, you should definitely check it out. Right, so we have another feature, this time for Bitbucket Cloud. So Bitbucket Cloud introduces a new feature for batched comments in pull requests, allowing users to submit all feedback at once, reducing email notifications, which is always great. This feature aims to streamline communication among PR participants, offering a clear and more efficient review process it's available now on all Bitbucket Cloud users. For all Bitbucket Cloud users out there, check it out and batch your comments together and stop bothering other people with all of your notifications. <laughs> oh, okay. So now when you do the, when I would do hundred comments on one pull request, um, yes, it would get all summarized. Mm -hmm. Very productive. That's good. I like that. It's like Nikki commented uh, 20 times that you should use a lowercase. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's move to the article of the week now. Uh, so in the article of the week, uh, four reasons you can focus at work and how to destroy the each one from the Trello blog talks about four main reasons for lack of focus, which is being tired, negatively impacted by bad news, multitasking and disliking what we do. So if any of these sound like you, have a look at the article week where you can find actionable tips on how to deal with each of these causes. But I have a really interesting, um, like a section from the article 
Did you know that the lack of sleep has a negative impact on your brain cells and of course the focus? We already know that. But there is an interesting experiment. So the scientists ran an experiment on mice and found out that just after three days of only four to five hours of sleep, the mice lost 25% of the neurons that are essential for the brain alertness. So that's really interesting. There are some theories that might be similar for the humans. So if you're tired, do get some sleep. It is not good for your brain. I should know. You should know. <laughs> I sleep four or five hours per night and my brain is mush <laughs> already. I'm going to send you to that scientist so they can run an experiment with you as well. Yes, run well, experiments in my brain. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Monday Coffee with Affair. I hope that you enjoyed the news. Uh, for you not to miss the latest and greatest from the Atlassian ecosystem, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel Monday Coffee by Appfire and we also have a LinkedIn page. Monday coffee by Appfire. So follow yes. that one as well. Subscribe. Many of you are not subscribed that are watching. So please subscribe to stay up to date. We publish every week religiously and we're here bringing you all the greatest and latest news. So um, that's, yeah. that's, that's the least you can do for our sacrifice here. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, Bira needs to get some sleep. Yeah, probably. <laughs> all right, see, see you, you next week. week. Bye. <laughs>